Greetings to you from the Northeast New York woodlands. And what's popping right now is the mushroom madness is happening. By the way, my name is Dina Falcone. I'm an herbalist educator and the author of Foraging and Feasting and Earthly Bodies and Heavenly Hair. The theme of this video are these prized boletuses. This is Boletus separans also known as lilac bolete. These are Porcini, the Boletus edulis uh, group. They are within that group. These are a prized choice edible mushroom and they are popping in the landscape and this is just gorgeous to come upon. So let's just quickly consider where we are. Again, I said we're in New York here and it is midsummer. These will be available um, through the summer and into the fall and you would find them also I found some in late spring also ecosystem so what's going on here ecologically speaking is these are mycorrhizal mushrooms that means they grow out of the ground and they have an association with the trees that are nearby and those trees are typically hardwoods often around oaks but in fact we are here with a hickory a bit of a hickory grove as well as oaks and some maples so that's the association that's the tree association with boletus separans also known as the lilac bolete lilac bolete because often there is lilac tones found in the cap and in the stalk but you should know that this in this is an incredibly um, varied colored bolete so you're seeing it in this particular color and it comes in many colors it, the cap and the and the stipe um, the stipe is the stalk come in various colors ranging from creamy white all the way to deep purple with a pinkish brown in there or a reddish brown or even a lilac brown i'd say that we're in that mix um, okay so this is an incredibly delicious worthy mushroom for you to get to know and i'm going to give you some macroscopic id clues so let's gather these beauties if you are gathering for identification then it's actually important for you to take it from its very very bottom and dig out even a little bit of it so you can see what's going on there and then we can key that whole thing out so we'll do that back at the picnic table but if you're gathering for food and you know already that you've got the right mushroom, then you wouldn't actually do what I just did there. And you would cut around there and leave the remaining, ooh, we, we would leave the remaining part of the mushroom, um, leave the mycelium intact. And, and yeah, so we would just take it like that. Plus, then we don't have any dirt to deal with when we're, when we're eating. Look at that beauty. Let's gather this one as well. If you're just cutting this for the table, you can cut higher up. For identification, you're gonna go lower. Um, I can actually even cut that part off. And that is what we bring into the basket. Here we are with our three specimens. And you can see this one is the one we picked. So you can see the full shape of its stalk, its stipe. And you can see that it's actually bulbous at the bottom so if I hold it up you can kind of see that shape happening um, sometimes the stalk is at like in this one which I've I've cut the base of the stalk off but you can see that it's actually pretty fat all the way up until the top so you can see that fat solid stalk happening um, what else to say uh, from this point of view is you can look underneath at the different pore surfaces and you can see that their color the color starts to shift this one is the youngest and the pores are um, still stuffed it's called but they're white the pore surface is white here and then as it starts to mature they start to yellow and when they get very mature um, it will become an ochre brown so the pore surfaces are, are like so and just actually I should back up a sec and just say that these pores um, are the uh, the pore surface is is the reproductive part but 
it is they are not gilled i mean that's super obvious but i i, I want to just mention that so for all the bolites you know i would say <laughs> most of them they do not have gills so you're looking for that sponge bottom that's what we have in front of us here and what else to share okay i am going to go get my knife and i'm going to be cutting these for you here we are actually just to remind you that the stalk coloring is quite similar to the stalk to the cap of the mushroom so the coloring is typically similar if not a little paler on the stalk or stipe now i'm going to cut it actually before i even cut it i want to just show you that if you were to press in to the flesh here and um, to the pore surface here we do not stain blue it is just a little bit dark but it really isn't a staining as it's staining is not happening um, there's no blue staining so that's another does not stain and now we're going to slice it in half for you to have a look at the flesh of the cap as well as the stalk and that flesh you can see that beautiful color is white so we have a white stalk flesh <laughs> and a white cap flesh and then this is the pore the pore surface this is called the pore um, the pores or the tubes I'm sorry these are the tubes that make up the pore surface on the bottom and you can see that that's what they look like now they're starting to yellow um, okay I want to show you another trick for ID and that is a big trick that well yeah let's go to the trick and then I'm going to talk about the reticulation on the stalk but this trick is where you get some ammonia this is just household ammonia and when you have a boletus separans as we have here you put a little drop of this ammonia on and it will turn an aquamarine bluish green that's a beautiful thing right there. That's a telltale that you have Boletus separans. So that's great. Look for the um, part of the mushroom that has lightish, lilacish tones, and then you will get that result. And that's a bingo. Okay, let's move on to the retic reticulation on the stalk slash stipe. You always want to see, or I should say most of the time, there's always exceptions, but you are looking for that reticulation it's called or net pattern it's as if this mushroom stalk had a fishnet stocking on and in the in the specimen that i'm holding that reticulation actually goes almost down to the bottom to this bulbous base and it's really nicely pronounced all the way up to to the cap so you can see that here right you can see what's going on all around here it has a beautiful fishnet stocking it's called reticulation the cap as you can see is very mushroom shaped <laughs> it's called convex and the surface is really not very sticky it's pretty dry I mean it's very humid right now so there's a hair a touch of stickiness but this would be considered a dry velvety smooth surface but if you feel beneath it there's actually often little pits or wrinkles or ridges so that is the cap surface and then I'm just going to flip it over one more time for you get the view from underneath and the beautiful white non-staining pore surface lastly um, you want to taste and I'm going to show you how to taste and the taste happens with the teeniest nibble on the tip of your tongue you do not swallow it and you experience the flavor and it should not be bitter it can be a little bit nutty maybe sweet or mild it's just this actually is just very very mild but 
excuse me, <laughs> you want to definitely spit out anything that you've tasted and just keep spitting, get the saliva out. You do not want to swallow any of that. But so this mushroom has a very mild, non-distinctive flavor. Sometimes that flavor can be a little nutty or sweet. Now let's do a quick recap. We have a uh, Bolita Seperons in front of us with typically it has lilac tones in its cap and its stipe. And don't forget, we have that crazy, beautiful aquamarine um, color showing when we hit it with a little drop of ammonia. That's very key telltale. We also have non-staining pores. So the pore surface underneath the mushroom is non-staining. We have non-staining white flesh here. So the uh, flesh of the stipe as well as the flesh of the cap is white and it does not stain. And what else? We have that reticulation. Remember that uh, fishnet stocking vibe <laughs> that is all along this stipe, all along this mushroom stalk. Um, so those, I think, are going to put you on the right track. Still, I always warn that with mushrooms that you get uh, an in-person, 100% identification accuracy before you eat these before you eat any mushroom, because mushrooms can be lethal. But I feel that you are on the right track, and for now you can take the information that I shared with you and really learn this species and then continue to develop your knowledge and, and, and then get the 100% accuracy ID piece, then you eat it. How to eat this baby, you just saute it up, you put it into soups and stews, you can dehydrate it, it dehydrates beautifully, and then you would add it to your winter stews. Um, so yeah, this is an amazing mushroom. I'm always so happy to find it and happy mushrooming with safety. If you've enjoyed this and you would like to learn more about foraging and medicine making, check out my online course, Wild Food Health Boosters and Herbal Remedies at wildfoodhealthboosters.com. See you next time.